Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be um, framing this diamond painting. Um, I'm going to test out this really, really inexpensive frame that I got from um, Walmart. I think it was six something or five something. It was just that cheap. Um, it does seem really cheap, but I do plan to use this as a frame that I'm going to, um, what's it called? replace out the picture very often and this looked like it would be much easier to replace the picture. So after um, I finish a diamond painting, I do, what's it called, roll over it with just my kitchen rolling pin just to make sure. Um, and then, you know, I clean this before I actually use this for food. <laughs> but yeah, you could hear if I, I heard it, but there are, you could hear some snapping happening and that's just, maybe there was two drills a little bit right not on top of each other. So now it's in there. Usually I only do this for squares all the time. And lots of times I usually just put this under my mattress for a day or two and then, you know, it squishes the diamonds in there. But I didn't end up doing that to this one. So now I have this, this just, I don't know, it's probably some sort of cleaning brush. And I just brush it pretty much. I, I don't do it lightly. I'm, this is my way to really ensure that there are, the diamonds are stuck on there. And this is also my way of what they call that, um, taking off any of wax. So this is not like a bristle. It's not like, you know, a metal brush. This is just, you know, I think it's just a cleaning brush for the bathroom or something. But I used to use a toothbrush, but that takes up too much time. So now I just do this um, to make sure that I take off any excess fluff or wax that got stuck on this. And then after I do that, I put this up towards the light to make sure I really am not missing any drills. So yeah, I, it looks good. So, yep. Um, so now I'm just gonna cut off the sides. Okay, it's cut out. Um, so I did get an 18 by 24 frame, the actual diamond painting, which an 18 by 24 frame says it's 45.7 centimeters by 61 centimeters. This was a weird size. This was 37 centimeters by 53.5 centimeters. So it would have been too big, like height wise for a 16 by 20, but too small width wise, but I just decided I, I've been always just getting 18 by 24s because this is the size of my portfolio book and I figure it'll be more interchangeable that, um, because that's the size of my portfolio book. So, um, I am going to use a black backing on this. So I have some black construction paper that I got from Amazon. It's a 12 by 18 construction paper. I will link this below. Um, hopefully it's still available. Um, so I'm going to use two of them because it, I did say this was 12 by 18 and then the frame was 18 by 24. So if I put two of them um, back to back, that will be an 18 by 24. So let me put this aside now. I am not that concerned with the, the line on the sides, I guess, being shown because you're not going to focus it up, focus on it that much. So and I'm just going to Tape this. I'm just using masking tape. It doesn't matter. Just it's going to be the back. You're not going to be able to see it. Um, so. Okay. 
Yeah, you can see I, I seem to like using masking tape all the time because it's easy to use because you could just rip it. Okay, so there's that. And see, you can barely even tell that there's two sheets of paper, and you're not gonna be you're not gonna be really focusing on that. So, yep. Um, I'm just gonna go put some double-sided tape in the back so that I could attach it to the construction paper. Okay. Where's my scissors? I had them with me. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to seal this diamond painting just because I don't have plans for it to be outside of the frame so and when I change it out this will just go in my portfolio book which I have shown at some point in this channel so if you watch maybe a couple of my completion videos I might have shown my portfolio book it is huge okay so I probably don't need to put this much tape on there, but I guess I just don't want it, what's it called, gravity to cause it to like do a weird bulge because diamond paintings are actually pretty heavy um, with when they have the diamond paintings, the diamonds on there that, you know, maybe I should just roll this, it really won't be in there. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to just eyeball this. Um, I'm, I find that I just end up going a little crazy if I end up, what do you call that, measuring it. So I've stopped measuring the sides because now I just do it by eye. Because really, who is going to be measuring the sides? No one. Okay, let's see. Take this off. Another one, no, that's the first one. I'm just making sure that's flat before I do the next one. So now let's test out this really cheap frame. Oh, it says remove protective film from both sides of the sheet. So I'm guessing, oh, I don't know if you can see that. It says it in this thing. Um, so I'm guessing there is, there must be a plastic covering on the something. I don't want to scratch up the... Man, why is it so hard to open the plastic? Okay. So yeah. I'm really hoping this doesn't look too cheap. So, yeah, I think this is just the, yeah, four sides here. Um, my mentality was this would make it really easy to, what they call that, replace the, the picture more often so that 
because I do want that option. Okay, so let's see. Let's move this off to the side. Put this in here. Does it fit? Should fit. It's 18 by 24 unless they're lying to me. And it's not 18 by 24. Okay. Okay, so there's a protective film on both sides. Okay, so yeah, I have to take that off. Oh man, it's broken over here in the corner. Oh well. Yeah. That's what I get for buying a cheap frame. Worst case is I won't have this covering and I just use Yeah, I thought I inspected them, but this was obviously behind this thing and you couldn't tell. Oh well. Yep, that's what I get for going cheap, but you hopefully won't be able to see that because I'm gonna be Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna be putting on the edges. I don't know how easy is it to put on these edges. Okay, so oh man, I hope that gets covered. Okay. Slide it. Okay, let's make sure I have the diamond paintings in there. Okay. Okay, see, this is what I meant. Part of the corner got broken off. Okay, so yeah, this is really cheap. I probably won't buy this again unless, what's the call? I don't know. I go through the whole, eh, it's not that bad <laughs> phase again. But I wouldn't buy this if your painting is the true to size, like if it's all the way to the edge, just because diamond paintings are much thicker than normal, um, what to call that? just pictures so I don't know how much easier this is to put on than what's it called other frames cuz yeah that's I mean sure you don't have the 50 million tabs in the back okay okay that side wasn't that bad okay I'm hoping here's hoping that this gets covered by the, what do you call that, the plastic covering my broken piece of acrylic. Okay, you can't really tell. It just kind of looks like a little crack up there. Um, yeah. So I'm kind of sad that it was broken off the top, but I couldn't tell it was broken until I opened the package. Okay, this last one, having a hard time putting it on.
there you go. It's framed. Actually, that doesn't look that bad. Like, <laughs> if I got over the fact that I know that there's a crack up there, um, can you really tell there's a crack up there? You know, so, yeah. Here it is. Nice and framed. Well, thank you for watching. Happy diamond painting. Bye.